Section 10E The speed of sound in a medium at a temperature of 102 degrees Celsius is 240 meter per second. If the speed of sound in the medium is 310 meter per second, calculate its temperature. Solution Okay, let me divide this into maybe two. Two will be enough or maybe three. Okay, let's try. Let's say three. Three should be enough. Okay. Three should be enough for that. Now, we know that for our speed of sound and the temperature, there is a relationship that uh, relate these two. We know that the speed v is proportional to the square root of the temperature so if the speed is v and the temperature is t that the speed of sound is directly proportional to the square root of the temperature now if this is true we can say that our v will be equals to bringing in a proportionality constant k and that will be equals to k root of t now if we make k the subject, we'll be having that our k will be equals to v all over square root of t. So this is the relation that actually connects this. Now, since we already know this, we can then say, hence, since we have this, we can say that of v1, since we have two medium here, we have first medium, we have another medium. So we can say v1 all over square root of t1 equals to v2 all over square root of t2 so we have this now all we need now is just to substitute those values that were given to us we know that in the first case we have temperature here we have temperature that was given to us here so let me indicate that somewhere here the t1 was given to us here what was given t1 was given to us as uh, 102 degrees celsius so we're going to convert that to kelvin so how do we do that remember that we add uh, 273 to each of this temperature that is in degrees celsius to change it to kelvin so this will now be 102 plus 273 and that will give us uh, 375 375 Kelvin so this is the temperature in Kelvin the equivalent of this 102 degrees Celsius to Kelvin that is the equivalent of that so we are going to substitute this every other values have been given to us the velocity this one is our V1 is our V1 okay now you come here again, this place here, our V2. So this is our V2. So we have that. So we have V1, we have V2. So all we need now is to find the second temperature as requested by the equation. So I'm just going to substitute what we have there. Our V1 is 240. Our temperature 1, remember we did that and we have 375. 375 equals to the same thing our v2 is given to us as 300 310 divided by our t2 we don't know that so let's write as t2 there so we have this uh, okay so you can see this we have this now we just have to cross multiply cross multiply and we are good to go so this time this this time this and this time this that's to say that 240 times this so we have 240 into root of t2 equals to then we have 310 times root of uh, 375 375 so we have that now by the time we go ahead with this we will be having that uh, 
Uh, if, if we just let's just make a t, uh, root of let's make root of t two to be subject. That means we are going to divide both sides by two forty. So if we divide here by two forty, two forty will be out. Divide here by two forty. So let me write that one three one zero times root of three seven five divide by two forty. So we have this. Now you just go ahead. Use your calculator because it's allowed for this kind of exam. So you multiply this by this, divide your answer by this. If you do that, you're going to have 25. So that is to say that square root of t2 is given on this. Now don't forget that from indices, for us to remove this square root, this is the same thing as having t2 raised to power 1 over 2. Because this is what we are having here. So this is equals to 25. Now for us to remove this uh, power of 1 over 2, if you multiply here by 2, multiply this power by 2, also multiply the power, there is power here of 1. Multiply this by 2, multiply this by 2. That is the powers. Multiply their powers by 2. If you notice, if you do that, you notice that this 2, we take care of this 2 and that will be out. So we'll be left with our, let me take it here. We'll be left with our T2. To be equals to 25 square and we know that 25 square is 25 times 25 25 times 25 and 25 times 25 is 625 remember this is in Kelvin don't forget the temperature was given to us in degrees Celsius so let's return this to degrees Celsius now how do we do that just to subtract remember we added 273 to change it to Kelvin so we just subtract so I subtract that as well. So we now say that therefore our T2 will be equals to 625 minus uh, 375. Now everything here is in degrees Celsius. In degrees Celsius. So when we do that, 625 minus uh, 375. Subtract that or subtract that rather. You have 300 and 52 degrees celsius so this is the answer to that question now you notice that when the velocity is being increased when the speed of sound is being increased which is the same as the velocity when the speed of sound is being increased then you see that the temperature is equally going to increase so that is the relation that we have so as this one increases this other one increases so this relation is valid is a direct proportionality relation okay if you have any question don't forget to ask us uh, in the comment section either on youtube on facebook on whichever channel you're watching this from and don't forget to subscribe follow us and uh, share this video and as you do that we'll keep serving you to do our best to make sure that your exams uh, you have good grades okay see you again in the next video